Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Gaming Repentance Countdown on 100% Win Eden Streak uh, video. We're at 32 days into Repentance, and we got a new blog update for you. Let's hop into the Eden run, and then we'll get to the blog update. Alright, let's see what we got going here. YDT7GNP1. Good speed, good range, eh, not great tiers, good shot speed. Damage is nice, uh, negative luck, which stinks. We're gonna drop a uh, cursed skull, I'll tell you that much. And then we got a uh, unicorn stump and the shade, or my shade, or whatever it is. I don't know, not very useful. But we don't know how much hearts we have, so we could have just one heart. So this could end with one bad uh, champion hit, which would be unfortunate. But let's try to avoid that. Anyway, the blog update is pretty interesting I'd say. It's dealing with the Dross floor which is an alternate floor to the downpour. So just like you could get basement into cellar, you could get downpour into Dross. So it's like a harder version of the first alternate tile set of floors. Uh, hopefully that made sense. Alright, let's go back. Let's find the item room and stuff. Um, and it looks like the Dross has a lot to do with uh, well, it's Isaac, so poop, and poop-related enemies, items, maybe, and bosses. So, we're about to get a mouthful of that as I dive into the blog update. Again, check Ed's Twitter, Edmund McMillan. Check his Twitter if you want the full link to see everything for yourself. And I know you want to get an eyeful of this. So, let's clear another room. Let's look. Alright, so there's a new monster called a Poot Mine which is a stationary floating thing that when you hit it, it kind of farts. Kind of like the... Oh my gosh, we're stuck over here. Kind of like the farting uh, things from Anti-Birth, it looks like, but not exactly. Alright, well, we have no soul hearts since we just picked up that half-red heart, so we know that now. But we don't know if it's half... A, or, excuse me, we don't know if it's one red heart, we don't know if it's two or three. Oh no. We were lucky for that. Alright, let's see if we get a soul heart here. I guess we should take it, just that way we don't get owned by a champion. Um, but hopefully we don't get hit the rest of the floor, because we don't want to... Oh my god. Alright, we got to focus on this. Oh no. Alright. Just just the one hit. No more hits, please. Perfect. Ooh! Nine lives is actually real nice. We could take it, and then we'd definitely be at one red heart and one and a half soul hearts. That's good with me. And... Okay, here's the item room. Dropped Cursed Skull. Let's not drop it in front of a door this time. Let's see what we get from here. Quad Shot. Alright, not everybody's favorite item, but you know what? I like it. We got decent damage, so it should be powerful. Let's head on to the boss. So there's a farting, flying uh, enemy in the dross. There's a dump. Slightly slower gaper with slug-like poop bodies. Alright, so it looks like they kind of follow you around just like uh, gapers, which are the regular zombies. And they leave a, uh, the, the brown like poop creep um, to slow you down, kind of like, you know, the brown dingle does. Alright, hold on, we gotta concentrate here on uh, Headless Horseman. A little smaller room than usual due to the hole in the floor. But we'll get flying from uh, the boss, which is pretty good. Alright, stop. Please stop. Alright. There we go. We'll take that because we don't have any orbitals to, uh, you know, use the unicorn stump with. And let's head down. Maybe we'll get a look at our health. That would be great. Actually, I guess we know. It's one red heart and one soul heart because we got hit. Oh, no. Alright, I guess the damage from the head was a full heart or something. Anyway, so, okay, so there's the enemies there. The gif shows them. The gif shows, you know the little poops, uh, they're called uh, dips. The gif shows a rainbow dip. Now, it doesn't die in the gif, so I don't know if it full heals you, like, or full red heart heals you, like uh, rainbow poops just sit on the floor like these poops right here, as you see. But uh, it could do that. I don't know. Yeah, these, these guys are dips. So there's rainbow uh, of them. As enemies, hopefully it heals uh, your red hearts or something. That'd be cool. So it's a nice uh, addition. And in the GIF, Isaac is using, I want to say it's a short brimstone beam, It's but it's longer than uh, Azazel's beam.
but it's brown and it's coming out of Isaac's uh, rear end. So uh, I guess you can kind of call it a weaponized uh, diarrhea. All right, pretty uh, pretty on par for uh, what we know and love in Isaac. These guys are gapers, right? These little guys, I think. Uh, when they still have their head, anyway. All right, how to jump? Well, we'll take it for the the book credit and probably probably move on after that. Okay, We've got to concentrate on this room a little bit, and then we'll get back. I see another GIF. Um, I can't move my eyes from the screen too much, or else we'll die. Can't lose that devil deal. Or maybe we can, but I'm going to try not to. Alright, we got the shop here, which is nice, because we got tons of money. We found that dime earlier. Alright, there we go. We'll buy this. Alright, what's the next gift? Oh, they're fighting the, um... The poot mine, so yeah, he just kind of flies around after he gets shot. And farts. Now, in anti-birth, those farting baby flyer things... Um, they did deal damage, but they usually were in rooms with spikes, so they could, like, fart you onto spikes. That was their big thing. Um, so I'm not sure about these guys. I don't see spikes in the room. This one's in. Alright, and there's another gif. Oh, it goes into a boss called the Clog, and he's just, uh, well, what can I say? He's a giant, uh, piece of poop. And he looks pretty tough. Okay, Ed calls him a diarrhea bender. So that's got to be, uh, hopefully the first time that's ever been uttered in English history. And hopefully nobody ever says it again, to be fair. Um, but yeah, he looks tough, but that's an alternate version of the alternate path. So you got to choose to go there and then get unlucky to get Dross, and then get this guy. I assume there's other bosses that could show up. Alright, we got little Steven, we got a Devil Deal, Sack Dagger, you know what, we'll take it. It's a shame we don't have a unicorn stump anymore, but who would have guessed? Alright. So the clog, he looks pretty challenging. He's swimming, ar he's, he's swinging around. There's a bunch of enemies following him. I don't know. Looks tough. And, alright, the next gif has... Oh, it details the, uh, the Isaac diarrhea shot. It's called Montezuma's Revenge. There you go. And... Uh, that's pretty much what it is. It's, uh, like a half room, like from here to here maybe. Brimstone shot that comes out of Isaac's uh, rear end. It's got a charge bar just like, you know, Brimstone or Maw of the Void has a charge circle bar. Um, so you can charge it up and then if somebody's following you, just let it uh, let it go, I guess. Alright, so it's powerful probably, but a little disgusting. But hey, it happens, right? Okay, keep going, and another new item, oh, this one was an anti-birth, the, the Dirty Minds item, or Dirty Mind, it makes uh, any poops you pop turn into friendlies, and you could have corn friendlies, or gold friendlies, or rainbow friendlies, or red friendlies, you know, all the different types of poop made a different friendly poop uh, familiar, I think they were limited on, on time, or uh, something limited them that you couldn't just like have a... Uh, a bunch of them, I forget. Anyway, and also made more poops show up. You know how you're on the burning basement and the fires show up instead of rocks? It makes more poops show up for the rest of the run. That way it's still useful. Otherwise, you'd have to depend on poop showing up to use the item. So even if you're on like the cathedral, it could turn rocks into poop just so you can pop them and make more familiars. So I'm glad that one's returning. That one's always fun. Or at least I always liked it when I was playing anti-birth. Right. I didn't think we were close enough to that guy, but I guess we got hit, so that's my bad. Judgment. We'll think about it. Alright, and... Okay, Dirty Mines. Alright, that looks like the bulk of the gifts and new enemies, etc. But there's a small list here at the end of the blog post. Let's clear this room and then I'll read it. This worm out of here. There we go. This DLC will bring the achievement account in Isaac to just over 634. It will rework and or buff loads of bottom tier items people seem to hate. It will make hard mode harder in appropriate ways. It will make pills more worth it and it will rock your 
world. Did I just lay a bomb? Anyway, that's directly from Ed himself this week. So, oh my gosh. So there you go. i very interested in the reworking slash buffing of bottom tier items. I know every run shouldn't be a slam dunk, but if you get every item in your run is crap, you're kind of screwed. So if they're all buffed a little bit, or if certain ones are buffed certain ways, uh, that sounds great. Obviously you don't want to get Brimstone or Mom's Knife every run, but uh, something with a little bit of damage or something like that wouldn't hurt. Or if they add a bean transformation to make all the beans worth it, I don't know. Alright, but that sounds cool. So that's the blog update for Friday. Uh, very interested to see what they'll do. 32 days till repentance. Very excited for that as well. Uh, sure, we'll take fate. Get a red heart next floor. We gotta find the item room. And potentially the shop. And some more keys. Alright. That's not anything that we asked for. So let's keep going. Let me check here. Okay, oh, uh, it says it goes into testing on Monday, so I guess they'll be doing some in-house testing. Repentance is 99% complete. It's exciting. Bastard. And, uh, okay, that's, that's the end of the blog post. So that's pretty nice. There's the shop. Oh my god. Alright, we gotta get these mines out of here before they pop out under us. We're not even thinking about it. There we go. Alright, another key is great. Mama Mega, not exactly what we're looking for. I mean, we'll take the heart. We got enough money, I'll take a bomb and a key as well. Because I, I feel like those will come in handy. But we have to find the item room. Nice tears up would be cool, a damage up would be amazing. Or, or neither. Probably. But you know, who knows. Okay, got these guys out of here. Then we just stand back and fire on the worms. So, uh, yeah, very excited for repentance. Just like everybody else, I'm sure. If we could get Spectral Shot, that would probably help too, because our stuff keeps hitting rocks. Um, yeah, I'm going to re-roll that Chief. Okay, again. Daddy Long Legs is great, as always. Uh, I, I guess we'll settle for Daddy Long Legs. And I shouldn't say settle, because he's a great item. Obviously, it's in a combat stat up, but he'll be squishing stuff every so often, and that'll be helpful for our long-term survivability. Excuse me. Alright. Super Secret Room could be pretty close to there. we got the Fallen. So we're getting a Devil Deal item uh, right now. Right this second. Right? There we go. Yikes. Okay. A uh, little Delirium. I think I'm going to pass. Shame we don't have a Perthro or something like that. Catacombs, too. We only got two keys, so we're not going to open that room right there quite yet. Alright, these guys are jumping onto the spikes if we're lucky. Daddy Long Legs taking them out. There we go. Alright. Nice normal floor full of normal enemies. Sounds like a good thing right now. We got quad shot, but otherwise, we're not too, uh, too powerful or strong. Daddy Long Legs is doing a lot of the heavy lifting. And he's lifting with just his legs, which you know is like 20% harder than lifting things with your arms. So He's a real one. And real, uh, recognize real. That's all I can say. Sorry, I'll never say it again. Alright, we gotta get this in there. Perfect, thank you, Daddy. Oh my gosh. Alright, another bomb. Nope. Second hand 
extended status effect time. Uh, we don't have anything to take advantage of that right now. Oops. But we'll use it. Why are people getting feared? Oh, I guess because we have shade or whatever. Golden key, that's pretty nice. Relic is real nice. That'll solve our health problem. We don't really have a huge health problem. But, uh... <clears throat> we're a little lacking. So that'll help make up for that. Great pickup. Great pickup. We got the golden key. We can head down to the double key room right now. Uh, if it's a reroll, I wouldn't reroll the run. As much as we're not overpowered, it's still a fine run. Alright, well, we didn't have to make that decision. Excuse me. There we go. Alright, secret room could be here, but we don't have any bombs. And we still don't. Because that was a troll bomb. Okay. If this was, uh, if we had dirty mines in this room, we could have got some nice poop. I think it might even make regular dips friendly. I forget, and I'm not sure. So, I could be totally lying, and I probably am. But it'd be cool if it worked that way, and it actually might. So, sorry for saying a sense that meant nothing. Oh gosh, get these guys out of here. You know what I'm saying? We get the heart back from the relics, so that's nice. Pretty simple enemy, but when you put 20 of them in a room... I don't know, I can't figure it out. They, uh, they always get me once in a while. So, it's probably a personal problem. Sorry. I can't be an excellent player. This is the boss room? I thought we already found the boss room somewhere else. Oh well. Alright, let's do this. Oh my god. Alright, well, let's go to the boss and maybe get a deal. That could be uh, advantageous. Hollow, not too huge of an issue, hopefully. Or else there's something really wrong with us this run. And by us, I mean me. Alright, no deal, but PJ's is nice. Four soul hearts. Again, cements our uh, health into a fine position with the relic. Should be plenty fine on health. I'll take some damage ups now. Thank you. Small rock. That'd be cool. Just saying. We won't get the speed penalty because we have the pony. Uh, nothing tinted here though, so we won't get it there. Um, we'll stand back so we don't explode. Nice key. Hopefully we get another shop sometime before the end of uh, the run. So we can spend some money on something. Champion's Belt. Uh, BFF would be good too because of uh, Sack Dagger. And of course, anything generally good. Tarot Cloth. Car Battery, though it wouldn't affect uh, the pony that well. Still nice to have for the future. Excuse me just one second, sorry. No, sorry, I had to get a drink of water. Holy moly. Alright, what's in this room? Just a couple. Alright. Easy peasy. What's this? Nothing. Could be bombs. Does that hold everybody closer together? It does. I guess that's fine. For a little Steven. Nobody else really affected that much. Okay. Hey. Lots of money, another soul heart. We don't have a bomb for that sticky nickel, but, oh gosh, I'm just going to stand here, and if nobody moves, there we go, alright, got to take the heart out, one more volley, one more volley, oh, the foot help, thank you foot, there's a bomb if we want the sticky nickel, we'll see what's in the shop, if we get a shop, sticky nickel, your reward for playing the keeper, isn't that amazing? It's a nickel. It's stuck to the ground. Alright, we got a hit there, but we got plenty of health. We'll just let Daddy Longlegs take care of everything, I guess. Alright, we gotta find the item room, the shop, 
etc. Secret room could be left of there, not sure. Really? Alright, let's see what's in the item room. Oh my god. Mystery egg. Pretty bad item overall. Alright, we got 32 cents. Should we buy a half price spider mod? Yeah, why not, I guess. Alright, mom's box? Or no. Uh, box of friends. Honestly, maybe. But, no. Like I said, we're not really using the pony to use it. We're just using it for uh, flight. Diplopia could be something interesting. We got a 100% chance at a deal. Maybe we could use it for that. And it should be coming up pretty soon, so maybe we just walk with Diplopia. Red hearts in a chest is pretty amazing. Is this Necropolis? Yeah, it is. I tell by all the heart rooms. Holy moly. Alright. There we go. Slowly but surely. Oh my gosh. I thought we would have hit the boss by now, or else I would have just kept uh, the pony. I mean, I guess we still have flight anyway, because we took fate. But the speed up from it is also just incredible. In general. So... Let's put this guy... great. Alright. Here we go. Adversary will be heavily sack daggered when appropriate. Thank you for moving up against the wall and back down again. Alright. Holy moly. Alright, we're just gonna move in with the dagger. We got plenty of health. Damage to top speed. Honestly, I might deploy you that for two damage ups. If this is a bad deal, and it's Krampus, and we don't have a bomb for the black heart. So unfortunate. Let's take out this. Let's go this way. Alright, Krampus's head. Pretty bad overall for us. Okay. Diplopia. So we got an extra 1.26 damage. Not 100% sure why the values are different per item, but that's okay. Let's go pick up that speed up, because I feel super slow without it. And I don't know what our health's at, because we got hit like 99 times. But uh, we got the relic, so hopefully that pays out some more now that we're not going to die so easily. Dank depths, decent amount of hearts. What's in here? Not where. Oh gosh. Curse of the Maze. We got very quick shot speed now, thanks to the two uh, Cat of Nine Tails. Cat of Eighteen Tails, I guess, if you want to call it that. It's probably correct and rude at the same time. It's okay. Uh, jeez, there we go. Alright, we needed that shot speed to catch up to that champion. Because he was not stopping, I'll tell you that. Alright, Daddy Long Legs still being a huge help. And these guys still being a huge pain. We got nice damage though. There's the Relic. I think we got a winning combination. We just gotta be very careful. Uh, and not play haphazardly, as I have been. There we go. Uh, today was the, the Pokemon Presents. They announced the Diamond and Pearl remakes. Uh, what was it? Brilliant? Diamond and Shining Pearl, or something like that. So that's cool. I never played the originals, and I only know uh, those Mon from Pokemon Go. But I'm sure everybody who played them is like, oh, super nostalgia, let's do it. I know the King's very interested and happy they went back to the chibi models for, like, characters and stuff. And you know what? I agree. It looks, it looks good. Probably pick that up. And they also announced, uh, what was it? Legends? Pokemon Legends? Arceus? Or whatever his name is? Oh my god, I have all tears. Uh, sure. Whatever. They'll go pretty far thanks to our shot speed. Not usually a huge fan of eyeball tears, but you know what? It's time to live in the moment and use them. It, if we had lower shot speed, I probably wouldn't have taken them. 
But we got nice shot speeds. They travel pretty far anyway. Still looking for the shop. Okay. Uh, anyway, the Legends thing. It looks like... Well, they called it an action RPG. So some would call it, you know, Breath of the Wild in Pokemon form. Uh, but hopefully they... Uh, it sounds awesome. Don't get me wrong. But the, the stuff they showed for it is obviously, like, alpha. Because there's, like, nothing. It's just you and a Pokemon in a field. Alright, there's the car battery that we talked about before. We don't really have the money. And again, we don't really have a space brighter that works with car battery that well. So we'll just take the Soul Heart and go. But I'm excited for what Legends can be. Assuming it gets the right amount of attention uh, from the developers. So yeah. They also had a, more of a trailer and more teaser stuff for Pokemon Snap 2. It looked amazing. All the interactions with the different throwables, just like the original Pokemon Snap. I was happy to see stuff like that uh, in the trailer. So that gave me a, a boost of confidence, because I wasn't sure how Snap was going to turn out. I guess I'm still not, but the way they showed everything... Oh, jeez, what a double hit that was. Uh, the way they showed everything made me feel really happy about, uh, about it. We got three cents, might as well try and get... Okay. Broke after two. Thank you. Red Mom should be pretty easy for us. We'll be using the dagger liberally. And there's Daddy Longlegs also helping out. There we go. And we got a deal and a Tinted Rock. Anyway, what's this saying? And it's Snap 2 looks good. Uh, Legends could be amazing. Hopefully it will be. Nice tears up there. Cool. We didn't need Gimpy. We got plenty of hearts. And Resurrections. Um, and Diamond and Pearl remakes look, uh, look, look good, I think. Oh my gosh. Alright, well now we got Invincibility, so we're going to be running over people with Sack Dagger and hopefully getting hearts back from Relic. Gurglings. Alright, I think we can do this no problem. We're on Utero 1, Curse the Unknown. But we know we're down a heart. It will still take some concentration, however. I still would have liked Spectral. All I'm doing is shooting into rocks half the time with these shots. Don't you think Eyeball should come with Spectral? Just like, uh... Pupula Duplex does. Just saying. Alright, let's get everybody over there and kill them. Perfect. What do we got in here? A pill. Oh, there's the Matriarch. Oh my gosh. Well, the second we take a hit, which I'm almost trying to do, we'll just stand next to her. Almost trying to do. Not purely trying. Just almost trying it. At this point, we will just stand next to her. Because that phase is a menace to everyone uh, that's ever turned on a video game. <clears throat> Let's be honest. Alright, that's our Psychic Corf. So there we go. More even more shot speed. Which is what we needed. And a Wheel of Fortune. And we could get a uh, Rotten Baby for three. It would be fine, but we're not drowning in health. I know last Devil Deal I said we got plenty of health. So I'm not even sure what I think anymore. But, uh... Yeah. Okay, let's just head on down. Might be actually speed up this run if we can find, uh... It lives pretty quickly. I felt like this run was going pretty slow. And, uh... And it was. But maybe it's not anymore. We're two-thirds bookworm. Very unfortunate to find a library with only one book in it. Um, but I guess one could show up on the cathedral, technically? I don't, is that possible? I, I forget. So maybe we'll get another book there. Or maybe we'll see a book in a deal. Would I take a book for Bookworm for the three hearts that I wouldn't take Rotten Baby for? I don't know. Maybe. 
Depends on the book, because maybe we'd even take it. I like the speed up from the pony, but it's not necessary, it's just nice. Oh my gosh. Talking about nice things, here's something that's not nice. Blast assist in any form. The most powerful boss in all of the Binding of Isaac. Son of a... Alright. Took two hits in that room, so that's unfortunate. But hey, we might get a soul heart here. We didn't. I don't know why I thought we would. I thought it looked blue, but then it looked black because it had the black bomb flies. So I'm just crazy. Alright. But hey, we're putting my shade to work because every time we get hit, we make a whatcha call. And boy, howdy, are we getting hit. Okay, throwing our eyeballs in the corner. We got the wall spider doing some work. Thank you, uh, artificial insemination, whatever that item's called. Oh my gosh. Alright, got a son of a biscuit. Is there a tinted rock in this room? There's gotta be. Thank you, Relic. Probably keeping us from losing the run. Rooms like this ain't helping. But, uh, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. And we got a nerve ending on our team. Talk about a, an OP enemy for, uh, for us to have. Alright, get some eyeballs out of here. It lives. Hopefully not for too long. Okay then, we'll just move in with the dagger. Just trying to avoid damage. Didn't work out too well. But we're going up to the cathedral, just over 29 minutes, so that's uh, not too bad. And we got we got decent hearts. We got nine hearts and nine lives. So it's pretty nice. No mapping this run, no compass or uh, blue map. That's why we're not getting cursed the lost. If we had those, we'd be getting cursed the lost all the time. Oh my god. Alright, we're just gonna risk it and go out of this room. Because it's just a waste of time. Alright, this does lead somewhere, hopefully, towards a boss. And by a boss, I mean the boss. Which is Isaac. Alright, get these stonies out of here. Alright, why did they put the Death Rattle Champion at the end of the line? I don't know. Because that's how it goes sometimes. There we go. Nice soul heart. There's Isaac. Almost. It was almost Isaac, if you think about it. Here's Isaac. Still a chance. Alright, that one explodes. Here we go. Alright, I think we got this under lock and key as a key drop. That was pretty good timing for my for my hilarity. You're all welcome for that. Okay, here's Isaac. You got Zack Dagger. Really, that's all you need, but we'll shoot him sometimes once in a while, too. Okay, take a hit. Because why not? Get a bomb fly that'll inevitably kill us somehow. But that's okay, because we'll take Isaac down with us. Did we hit him at all at all that time? Didn't feel like it. Alright, Daddy Long Legs with killing Pretty nice. Quick floor, just over under two minutes. Don't ask me why I said over. Thank you. All right. Oh gosh. All right. Tech X is a no-brainer. Libra. I'm not actually sure how that would work out. Little haunts fine. Little monstros fine too. I'm not sure what Libra would do. We, we do have high range. We do have the high shot speed. Does it take shot speed into into the balance equation? Oh my gosh! Just walked in front. Of it. I mean, we have quad shot, which is probably at all stats down, because it's a tears down. But obviously, then you shoot four shots. We have the damage ups and the oh my god, the shot speed ups. We haven't had that many other stat ups this run. How does that balance the speed from the pony? There's all these questions, you know. 
I mean, we're not in dire straits if we did take it, so let's take Libra and see what it does. I'm guessing it's a damage down. Maybe a tears up. Okay, yeah, so it's a, a, a tears up and then everything else down. It does take our speed down despite having the pony, which is unfortunate. But we'll be blasting these more often, times four, so it's Tech X. Stuff's still gonna melt. You know, it's not like we're gonna lose the run. Alright, eight tiers rate quad shot Tech X. You know what? I'll settle for it. If I have to. D10, reroll enemies. Not too helpful here in the chest. How many Mega Fatties are in this room? It's three. It's two. Well, it turns out it's actually zero. Alright. Let's check down here for blue baby. We find different babies. None of them are blue. Our shot speed's actually... It didn't get balanced down. It's the same 1.82. And technically, if somebody's not in a corner, the shot speed is detrimental. Because then the Tech X passes over them that much quicker. Which we all know can't be good for the environment. Let's grab that heart in case we need it. Unlikely. And if we stand next to Blue Baby, he's not going to be taking a lot of Tech X damage. But that's okay. We got the dagger, and that's what it's all about. When you do the hokey pokey. Anyway, that'll do it for this run. Another win up to, what's that, 25? A quarter of 100 wins in a row. Not too shabby. Not going to the void. Sorry. Uh, but there you go. So, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening to the blog post. We got 32 days till repentance. And we got the update on the dross floor. So that's crappy in a good way. And there you go. So please leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Please leave a dislike if you hated it. And tune in for tomorrow's uh, episode and potential Twitter update. Because Ed's been doing a lot of stuff on Twitter lately. So who knows. So thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. I'll see you tomorrow. And until then, have a great day.